Ay. Ay. Okay. Ay. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Scotty Show tonight. We're going to be talking about um, Cemetery and Chief Keith uh, with the with the collab, bro, on uh, FTP Records. I think uh, Zach FTP posted this on his well, story, and then uh, I think it looks like Cemetery screenshotted it, posted on his story. Um, this is hey, look, I know this is old news, but I just want to talk about it. Yo, this is crazy, bro. And then like you know, someone that's coming from the Midwest, bro, Chief Keith and and Cemetery on on a song is crazy. Haunted Mound Sosa on the FTP album. That's gonna be crazy. I'm definitely listening to that, bro. That's gonna be crazy. Um, I wonder how the song is gonna sound. I also wonder, are we gonna get a, a Chief Keef and Cemetery? Like, <laughs> like, and I think no. I right, look. Maybe I have to listen to. I wanna. I wanna finish Hackles and I wanna finish Turnabouts mixtapes. But I think I, I just want maybe just the Chief Keef and Cemetery album with a hackle or a turnabout or a buckshot feature. Um, but I just want it to sh mainly be Chief Keef and Cemetery. I want to see what that sounds like. Yeah, maybe throw hackle on a song or, or turnabout or buckshot. Like whatever, whichever one you want to pick. Um, and I think... Uh, yeah, I want to keep it. I want to keep it mainly Chief Keef and Cemetery. I might be going cap. I can't even cap, bro. I cannot cap. I really want to hear. I wonder. I wonder wh how Chief Keef is gonna push uh, Cemetery because I feel like I know I've been. It's like beating a dead horse, bro. I know, like uh, I've talked about how Ghost Mountain was like you know pushing. I feel like he really pushed um, um, Cemetery's pen when it came to like rapping. And, and the trying out different flows and stuff. I I literally like you know, on all of the songs that Ghost Mountain and Cemetery have. Cemetery is literally changing flows, doing different styles, rapping different. Say uh, the, the the delivery is different, and <clears throat> I just wonder how Chief Keef is gonna push Cemetery. I, I, that's what I really want to hear. I want to hear. I want to hear someone. I want someone to really push uh, uh, Cemetery's pen and like and, and changes change up his delivery and stuff. And I, I want to hear what you. I want to hear what Cemetery is like when he's changing up flows again. I want to hear in like a new like the new like you know new like like new and improved like Cemetery, bro. Like 2023 Cemetery, you know, just doing different flows and switching stuff up, bro. Like that's what I really want to hear. Um, but yeah, just being. Being on, from the Midwest and like having Chief Keith like blow up in Chicago and stuff like that, and then like you know Cemetery, which he's a big fan of Chief Keith, and like he lives all the way in California, I think, and like he like embraces like that whole entire style, and like he fucking with it and shit like that. That's just that's just lit, bro. That shit is super lit, man. I really hope we get a a, a, a Cemetery or a Haunted Mound Sosa um, uh, collab tape or album. Um, I just wonder what this opens up for uh, for Cemetery because getting the Chief Key feature is crazy. Like I don't care what nobody say, bro. Chief Key is literally he he birthed this whole entire generation of artists that we have right now. And for Cemetery to even get that kind of feature, that's like I, I and people hate on Soulja Boy, bro. Like getting a Soulja Boy feature is lit. Like are you kidding me? <laughs> like somebody like that's like getting a little B feature, bro. Like I'd be like, bro, he he birthed like this. They helped birth like this whole entire you know like organism of what we call the underground like uh, uh, of like the new people like who we have like right now you know what i'm saying like nobody was doing what they're doing now until them but and then we talk about lil wayne bro <laughs> lil wayne created created it all bro lil wayne is like uh shit who could i compare lil wayne to bro like as a as a marvel or, or dc character bro like that's like the, the almighty, bro. Like he like the Phoenix, bro. He like he, he's like the Phoenix in Marvel. The strongest being in, on the in the universe type shit when it come to like, you know, the creation of like all these people that, you know, he was the first one doing rock slash rap, bro. Like he was the, you know, it, it was just crazy. Like the stuff that he started, you see, like he, he started like the Cody mumble rapping shit. Like 
He started a lot of that stuff. Like, he would literally be mumbling. What was that one song? Um, Me and my drink. Like, bro, he's literally mumbling and rapping in the song, bro. We said, bro, buddy, bro. I said, bro, buddy. Like, <laughs> like, he's literally mumbling in the song, bro. Wasn't nobody doing that besides him. So, like, yeah, we, we, we just... We just went like on a crazy rent right there, but yeah, we let's be going back on Chief Keefe and Cemetery. But like, yeah, it's just crazy because like the doors that it will open for um, Chief Keefe, I uh, mean not Chief Keefe, Cemetery. My bad. But the doors that will open for Cemetery, um, I, I just think that he'll be able to work with so many different artists. Um, I think that he'll be able to, you know, really, you know, take his career to another level. And then I just want to see what he transitions to after that. You know what I'm saying? I think that he should be trying to get... I, if I'm his manager, bro, I'm going to try to get him in Dead by Daylight. He should. He needs to be in Dead by Daylight. He needs to be an actual... Like, like, like an actual killer in Dead by Daylight. I feel like he should... I feel like he should be in that... And just get him involved with anything, like, on some George Romero, whatever that nigga name is, type shit, bro. He needs to, like, you know, just... just be fully involved in shit like that and like, you know, capitalize on shit like that, bro, honestly. And doing this rap shit, bro. We gonna turn up, bro. Like, one thing I really wanna see is I wanna see um, the underground rappers that are really underground, bro. Like, that <clears throat> really like did this shit on their own. They weren't, you know, even though he is, uh, I think he signed a Masquerilla now. Like, he just signed to him, but like, he's been doing this independent. You know, he blew up. Like, like, at the end of the day, bro, like, I guarantee you a lot of, probably a lot of different labels or a lot of different people probably, like, looking at him like, bro, this shit's not gonna, like, even just regular people in general, it's probably like, yo, this shit's not gonna blow up. Next thing you know, he builds a cult fan base off of his original sound. You know, yeah, you sprinkle a little bit of Chief Keef and Black Crane in there, but at the end of the day, he, um, made the flow his own. Like, he doesn't sound like Chief Keef. He don't sound like Black Cray. Yeah, you may hear it a little bit like, ooh, that's a little bit of Black Cray there. Ooh, that's a little bit of Chief Keef there. But you don't say, oh, this is like a Chief Keef song. You know, this is like a drill song. No, it's not. It's his own style. Um, which is like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why it's like just a hundred times dope. You know what I'm saying? So he, he's real. He's real, like, underground. Built this shit up. And I want to see them people get rich, you know, go main, go mainstream, bro. So then, like, now we can have the next people, you know, to come up under you, bro. Like, now, now it's your time to submit your legacy now, bro. Like, I like when people actually come from the underground, grow, like, build themselves up, build up a cult fan base, and get rich. That's how it's supposed to go. And then the next generation comes. It has to be organic, bro, or else this shit look food. They out here doing tours. They did a tour in America and they did a tour in fucking Europe, bro. Like, that's real. Real fans. You know what I'm saying? Like, they know. They probably know his shit, bro. That's not because, like, oh, he's American and he's touring Europe and they just want to go to a show. They probably are his fans. You know what I'm saying? That's the that's difference. That's the difference. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers just be going to Europe and just doing a fucking tour over there and the people in Europe just eat that shit up. You know what I'm saying? But, like... And they, not even, they don't even really know you like that. Like, they don't even really like a fan of your music like that. But, shit. Like, I guarantee you, like, like them concerts that, Cem them, that Cemetery are doing. And he said he signed a mask, really, no offense. They're not as big as those labels that can do those kind of things, you know, with those artists that, that go to Europe and just be fucking, just doing any kind of show. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do um, more videos like this where, um, you know, I'll, I'll see something on, online and go on a random about it a little bit. But uh, let me know what y'all think in the comments. This is the Scotty Show. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank y'all. Peace out. Hey. Okay. Uh, hey. Hey.